Legend has it that salmon once provided the best postal service in the world, between the rivers and oceans and the magical and mortal realms. 200 years ago, the salmon lived in harmony in the River Don, but then humans arrived and spoiled their peace. The salmon had to go into hiding in the oceans. They split into two skulls, and this is the story of why. Did you see Salmon United this weekend? They're top of the Finball League right now. Well, I support a different team, Eels United. I thought they were going to win because they are clearly better than Salmon United are. Salmon United are 100% better than Eels United. Well, I think both teams are good. Anyway, we have bigger fish to fry. We need to go warn the other salmon because the humans are polluting the river and the others haven't realised. Maybe we should head to the ocean before we accidentally eat some of the rubbish from the humans. It might make us die. I think we should stay in the river because it's our home and who else is going to transport the letters? Yeah, I agree with Sinnerly. We should stay. If we stay, we might get hurt. We need to get out of here while we still can. We must go and warn the others. OK, we are going to save our rivers. But what about the messages to all of our families and friends? If we don't deliver the letters, they might think something bad has happened to us. If we stay, we might actually die. And that is bad. Are you really concerned about what might happen? Or are you just being lazy? No, you're just being mean. We're not being mean. It just sounds a lot like you're being lazy. Well, I'm not being lazy. I'm just trying to help. Well, we need to split up then if that's how you feel. A few months later in the Lazy Salmon HQ. Wake up, sleepyheads. We need to win this war. Otherwise, we'll have loads of work to do. <sighs> Wake up, lazy bones. <sighs> uh, come on, we have to win this war. Otherwise, we won't win this war. Yes, come on, where's the scary Kelpzilla to scare those lightning speed salmon? Don't tell me you haven't made it because you've been stuck in bed. Meh. <sighs> Guess we'll, we'll build, build this, this ourselves. ourselves. Mossy, you get the kelp. I'll start making the designs. OK, sure. Hurry up then. Meanwhile, in the active Salmon HQ... We're making a crocodile out of kelp to scare those lazy fin salmon. OK, I'll gather the materials. OK, okay we're, we're on, on it. it. Oh my gosh, this is so boring. What? what? You're too lazy, you'll never win this. So join our side or else you'll suffer the consequences. Meanwhile, far away up the River Don. Can you tell the salmon to come back? It's safe now, and we really need the postal service back. How do you know it's safe? Because this water is delicious. Go and tell everyone. OK. How do I know you're not trying to steal the salmon's home? 
I may look suspicious, but I promise I'm not inside. Everyone was calling me suspicious, don't look at my black top hat. I'm really tired. Can you take this message for me? Take it to the beaver. Sure thing, although I thought I was doing a good job of disguising myself. I'll deliver this to the beaver in no time. You can count on me. Beaver, the duke has asked me to give this to you. Can you deliver this to the salmon? Okay, sure. I'll make sure there's no traffic. I'll take a shortcut. Stop right now. This is really important. You can carry on once you have read this message that has been passed from animal to animal. What could possibly be so important? We're in the middle of a battle here. You have to read it. You can't just battle anymore. Just look. <gasps> oh gosh, we never knew. We have to tell everyone now. Okay, sure, let's go home if it's safe. And you guys better help out with some of the postal work too when we're back. Yes, this is amazing. We can finally go home. Well, what's the difference? It's just water. Both places are livable. Of course the dog is better. It's our home. It's more comfortable. As if it's home. Oi, what are you guys lazing about that? Why don't we jump on this canoe and go back to the Don? Yes, less work. Okay, I suppose a little restaurant hurt. Beaver, why don't you come with us and hitch a ride? Thanks for the message, Beaver. If it wasn't for you, we would have just kept fighting with each other. Okay, I think I do need a rest after all. I can't believe you've carried that message all the way from the Don out to us in the estuary. You did all of this for us. We are so grateful. It's so great to be home. Oh wow, I'm crying, but no one can see because I'm underwater. Okay, maybe being home isn't so bad. And that's why the salmon are finally returning to the Don after 200 years. <laughs>